what's good? It's your boy Rico, and look at this. Can you believe it? I just pulled a Groudon from like a three game win streak. I should have kept the game. It was such an intense game. It was like 17 minutes long. I ended up losing, but I should have kept the game because look at this. I just pulled a Groudon. I cannot believe that. That is so amazing. I'm so happy. I'm only at like seven wins too, so I don't even need to play 35 games because I just got the Groudon. Crazy. What if I got something else too? Let's see. Oh, I got some ingots. I can't believe I just pulled a Groudon out of that. That is so insane. Um. Anyway, guys, I was I was listening to you guys. I played the. If you take a look at my last video, I made a, a stupid deck. Like it makes no sense. There was no attacking power whatsoever. I quickly learned. Well, it was after one game, and I lost, and I realized I was like. I need to get wins. Like, this costs 30 stamina. I can't be wasting wins like that. Like, I need a team to do something. So I immediately switched to my team. I listened to you guys, put my Pupitar in, got my two Vibravas, uh, one with a Flygon on there, and my uh, Shuppet. And I've been playing. And if you'll take a look, I'm back in the 1500s, finally. Let me show you some... All right, hold on. Let me show you this dumb, how dumb this is. All right, let me go to my messages real quick from um, T-Mobile, Okay. Your bill is scheduled for an automatic payment on the 19th. The 19th. What's the date? Like the 5th? Let me go back to Pokemon Duel. Like the 5th? I have like two weeks before my plan resets, so I can't play at work at all. The only time I get to play is late at night. It's almost 10 o'clock. I have to play my three games, potentially four, if I stay up with an extra like little 20 minutes. And I'm like, dude, I'm never going to get growled on. But I cannot believe I just pulled him. That is insane, guys. I am so happy that I just pulled the the uh the grout on now i have two games i'll show you two games they're they're pretty quick i mean it, it's it's not very interesting because i was back i was in the 1400s okay so i was playing people who aren't the greatest okay um but i'm back to 1500 i'm happy i have a couple of two entertaining games that i want to show you so uh i'll be right back let me get that game going and then i'll uh voice over okay give me one second Alright guys, we are back with game number one. Like I said, I'm down in the 1400s. Trust me, I'm not like those other people who you see in the 1400s that have like a 10 game winning streak. Like it is not worth my time to just lose and try to get an 11 game win streak. And even if I had that, I wouldn't do I almost did not connect here because I didn't have Wi-Fi on. And you'll take a look at the top. It'll say uh, connecting, I believe. Yeah, the other part is... See, this is what happens when I'm at work. When I'm not on Wi-Fi, this is what happens. I don't... Well, it says I get a match, but then I don't end up playing, and it pisses me off, and I lose. That's why I'm down on my 1400s. Now, take a look at Johnny A. He's 1479. He doesn't have a good team. I know, okay? I know it's not going to be, like, super competitive and super cool, but I just wanted to show off the Vibrava show up at Cheese, and I kind of... Like, Johnny, you're probably, like... 11 years old or something like he probably doesn't understand the mechanics of the game i'm sorry but i needed to win because i needed i i needed the wins to get the uh ground on but i ended up getting them anyway okay anyway i move up my um i don't have a magmortar i just put magmar in the in the game just because i needed a i wanted a fire pokemon that's that's the only reason and here he moves his uh his moltres close to the goal and here i'm like what is he doing but i'm like johnny a He's uh 14, what was it, 1475, 1479. Can't really question it. But anyway, what I decided to do here is I decided to set up the ch the Shuppet wall. And I moved my Vibrava on the right side because I'm like, alright, let's see if this Shuppet wants to be aggressive. And you know what happens when you try to attack Vibrava, your turn just ends. But he doesn't. I'm like, okay, maybe maybe he knows what he's doing. I'm not sure. So here I, I have no reason not to move up Deoxys to be aggressive. I don't need to put him like near the goal. He's, he's an offensive ball in here. Moves up his Wobbuffet. Uh, move up my Vabrava just to complete the full Shuppet wall. Just in the event something does happen with uh, Deoxys A. Here he moves up his Haunter. Oh, my Haunter's dead. But then I had to, I had to double check his ability because I didn't know if it was the same as Gassy where you can't get surrounded. Saw it was Infiltrator. I'm like, okay, cool. Haunter's gone. And then he does the right thing. He moves his Moltres on the goal, and I move up my Shuppet back. You know, back, back in the back in the starting player, but back where he's ready to do like most of his damage. So then he brings up his Goodbye. I move up my uh, Deoxys A. No reason at all. I'm just kind of like, uh, I don't want to mess up what I have set up here because then the, the cheese happens. 
he moves up, and I'm like, bro, you can't attack me. Even if you plan on attacking me or not, you're going to die either way. And that's what I do. Shup it for shup it, but my shup it's better. My shup is level 100. Here he moves up, goodbye. It doesn't attack. I don't, this guy, I don't even know if this guy does attack this game. Now that I think about it, I don't think he attacks. Oh, I almost lost the game right here. I asked attack. I'm like, I'm getting T-Tar on the board. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Why am I trying to attack a bite? Because if I would have attacked him, he would have sand veiled under me. And he would have gone on my goal. Like, I was so stressed out there. I was like, I need to end my turn. I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, I completely almost lost the game. That was, whoo, that was, whoo, that was close. And then he moves up his Xerneas. No reason at all. So I move up my shove it back to the back to the starting line. You know what I mean? Something's going to die. Whether it's going to be Xerneas or it's going to be Goodbye. He moves Xerneas away because that's his better Mon. I agree with that play. But Goodbye is gone. See you later. And then here, I think he makes another question. I mean, this is definitely not a bot. I don't think. Maybe he was using AI. Maybe he was using AIs. I don't know. Here I have options. I can trap Xerneas or I can trap the Wobbuffet. Decided to trap the Xerneas because it's a, it's a bigger threat. Here, should have moved his Wobbuffet because now I can trap him with my Pupitar. But I was like, eh, we'll see what he does. Moves up his Haunter. I'm like, yep. Wobbuffet dies. Johnny Johnny may be trolling me. Johnny may... I, I mean, it's, it's the gym. Like, why would anybody risk their stamina? I mean, unless... He, no... I don't think it's an AI. He's playing like an AI, but I don't think it's like I don't I don't know. I don't think it's an AI. Do AIs attack? Cause this guy does not attack me. I don't think he attacks me at all. I'm not sure. Oh here okay, he attacks me right there. Attacks me. But you already know. Shuppet's the man. My Shuppet is the man. My Shuppet's level 100. He don't mess around. So anyway, the only the only thing here is to take out the Haunter. Just because it's the only thing on the board. I have two runners on the entry points. Once I take out this Haunter, it's GG, boys. So that's what I do. Load up my uh, double chance in the event something bad happens. But he gets the miss. He gets the miss. I get the fire punch. <laughs> Gone. And here... Ah, dude. Maybe he was playing AIs. It's, it's definitely not a bot. It's not a bot. There's no way it's a bot. Because I mean, a normal a normal person would have forfeited, I think, or they would have if they they would have been angry and tried to attack somebody. But he just moves out of the way. Okay. It it. I don't know. Okay, that's game one. I'm I'm sorry it was boring. I just I needed a little fun. Okay. The, I swear the next thing I'm about to show you is gonna be a little more competitive. So be right back. All right, guys. We are back for game number two, and as you can see, I made a mistake here. This was filmed after the video I did with the, the sorry-ass team that I made, and I totally forgot to use it. I used my team that I use in, uh, in, in ranked matches, and I was like, oh, well, this is not good. And look at this team. It's got Hurdle Jump, Hurdle Jump. He's got the, the Moltres, the Heat Ran. He's got the Charizard. He's got the Gobite with the full evolutions. I was like, okay, this, this might be a match. Like, I... Even though I'm low, this guy has good mons. And I believe he went first, too. Yeah, he does go first. Look at that. Slash does 71 damage. Like, Gabite could be... He could be scary in this. What's his, yeah, it is his move. And he move, he's, he's, he's aggressive with his Moltres, and I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm checking out Gabite because of his, uh, his raid ability, which allows him to move three spaces away from from uh, one of your Pokemon on his first move. So I'm like, uh, that could be interesting. So here I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, what am I going to do with this Moltres? Because I know he's going to take my entry point. It's pointless for me to use any of my runners to try and attack him because I don't have enough attacking power to take him out. So my initial thought here is like, I have to take the entry point. I have to take my entry point. The only question is, who am I going to use to take my entry point? And as you see, I have my I had my hand on Polyworld, and then I had it on Whim Whimsicott. So I think those are the two best ones to have on the entry point. And I was like, I think Polyworld is the best. Just because of Moltres' will size for a white, and I have that chance of hitting the Hypnosis, which is like 30-ish percent. So that was, that, was the, that, was, that was my thought process here. Uh, next move, he's got a damn Heat Ran as a runner, and I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do here? And uh, what did I do? Oh, this was a mistake. I, I made a huge mistake here. So I grabbed my Whimsicott, and instead of, well, I figured if I blocked him, he's going to hurdle jump me anyway, so I guess it wasn't that much of a mistake. So I ended up putting Whimsicott there, and I was thinking he was going to bring his Heat Ran to my entry point, but for some reason, I didn't think he was going to make that move, and I was like, oh, what did I just do? Like, I, 
I think it was the right play though, because I knew I would still have my Deoxys A in the back with a double chance, which is a really good opportunity to do this. I don't even need to use my double chance. I don't even need to make him respan. I'm like, woo, survive that. I, it, in actuality, I think that was the best play to move, the best play to do. I really do. So now he, uh, like, I pretty much stopped that rush, and I think I did it brilliantly. Uh, maybe it wasn't a mistake. It, when I'm rewatching it, it seemed like a mistake, but actually, I think that made it might have went through my head. Maybe not. Probably not. I'm just trying to take credit for it. You already know. You already know how your boy Rico is. Anyway, he brings out his Torterra on the board. And, uh, interesting, well, I don't know. If I was him, I probably would have, I don't, I don't know how to utilize Torterra. I probably would have just brought a Charizard. I mean, yeah, he's got three, one moving power Pokemon, so that's probably the best move to make, I guess. And then he brings up his Charizard, and what I immediately do, you know what I do, it's, it's the Chupit Man. I gotta bring him on the board just in case he wants to challenge my Deoxys A with Charizard. He probably's not going to. I There's no reason he should. But just in case he did, I decided to move up Chupit just to be safe. So here I move up Lucario. I'm just trying to bring my Mons on the board. And uh, I'm pretty sure I keep looking at this goodbye. And it stresses me out because of that slash. And he's he's moving forward. I'm like, are you coming after Chupit? Like, you trying to evolve? You trying to get that... Um you trying to get that uh, Garchomp on the board? Like, Garchomp is scary. I kind of want a Garchomp. So here I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like, should I bring Pupitar on the board or should I just... What I decided to do there, I moved up my Lucario uh, just in case he does take out my Shuppet. And I just kind of wanted to, tr I don't know, congest the right side. And now here is where Grim Joe. I think he makes a mistake. If I was him, I probably would have moved my Rhyperia closer to the goal. So now I have options here. I'm like, I'm going to move my Shuppet. I was thinking about moving him back, but I was like, no. I'm going to move him in front of the Gabite because that forces him to attack me with with something. And he attacks him with his Gabite. But you already know your boy Shuppet gets the Wisp because my Shuppet's level 100. Because he keeps it 100, and I win the game. Anyway, I hope you guys liked that video. It was uh, I got the I got the ground on. I really wish I would have kept the other game. It was way more entertaining, even though I lost. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Until then, peace. Also, wait. Time out. I promise, guys. I promise there's going to be more and more competitive games in this gym. I'm only at 1,500, okay? I'm sorry. I promise I'm not trying to cheat. I'm not trying to get as high as I can because I would never do that. Your boy Rico would never do that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that game. Until then, tomorrow's Friday. Peace.